Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here because um, we've had quite a lot of new people join us recently which I am super grateful for. Welcome, I'm so happy you are joining me today. Today we are finishing this ephemera haul folio that we have been making for the past week I believe from uh, packaging, junk, all sorts of stuff and um, I will show you maybe at the end how it looks inside but I just need a couple of more ephemera pieces to add to it and I want them to be quite flat and not to add too much bulk because you can see that it's already bulky, um, quite bulky but I love it so much. I, I am enjoying this this so much and I also wanted to share with you some kits from Lorna from Tailor Made Journals. I will link her shop below and she was so kind and generous and she uh, she sent me some, um, some of her kits as a beautiful Christmas gift <clears throat> and I just printed them and I wanted to share them with you immediately because they are so beautiful. <laughs> so um, I haven't printed everything, so maybe I'll share the rest in another video. But here what I have is her three of her The Art of Writing kits. And you can already see that they are full of beautiful cursive, beautiful handwriting and beautiful papers. And I am so in love with these with these papers guys. I'm of course not going to show you all of them because I have like a ton of them but you can see some look like they have been written in pencil. There are some like fountain pen notes here and there. They're so beautiful and for those of us who have trouble um, like getting, this is so gorgeous, uh, getting actual vintage documents and letters and stuff like that, vintage ephemera. Lorna's shop just has it all for you and her printables, I mean, thanks to her printables, I feel like I'm actually using vintage stuff and I can add a vintage touch to my project. So that's something I'm very grateful for and I love this. So the art of writing from Taylor Made Journals. Check check the description box if you're interested. Look at this, guys. Look at how wonderfully messy this is. I love it so much. And I printed it on just regular copy paper. So if you used any um, type of like better paper, better quality paper, the quality of the prints would be even better. They would be even more vibrant <coughs> and beautiful and vintage. So. I want to work a little bit with these today's, today and I thought, you know, today I just want a relaxing craft with me. I just want to make some tags and journaling cards, like I said, uh, very simple and very flat. So they won't be maybe any pockets, anything like that, but just beautiful, hopefully beautiful collaging. So I'm going to be using these and I have this sheet of um, of brown recycled paper that I just got, you know, with my package and I thought I could use this maybe as my base. I would, I would make like a um, collaged um, master board, I think they are called, and then I will cut it up and um, make some ephemera from it. So this is this one. I also used, <clears throat> if you remember from yesterday, we've started using the cover of the paper pad from Stamperia and I just tore uh, the, all the pieces that we had left and um, I thought I could use them and I'm using them because um, the, the journal that I'm making for my customer is made with these papers so I want some of the ephemera at least to correspond and then um, I'm just going to use random bits and pieces that I have lying around me. So let me just cut a piece of this. And it doesn't have to be super even because I'm going to be cutting it up anyway. So uh, uh, um, let me put this aside. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm still going to 
um, kind of even if it out if I need to. So I have some book page. I'm just looking around to see if I can find my glue stick. Because again, I haven't really cleaned my desk. Oh, here it is. Uh, since yesterday. And <laughs> I... I have such a mess around me and not, it's not even my desk, it's my whole room, my whole floor, you know, is is just covered with random, random boxes and scraps of papers and scraps of fabric, everything. That's, that's how it is when I'm wa wa working on a project. Do tell me guys in the comments that I'm not alone. <laughs> Do tell me, does your crafts room look a bit like a crafty disaster when you are working on a project. I tend to clean my craft room um, every time I finish a project. Let me start using, start using these, these beautiful pages and tearing them. Oh, just uh, before I continue, uh, I've again had some questions about this ruler and this comes from Joyce Craft, Joy Crafts on Amazon. So this is a pair ruler from Joy exclamation mark craft on Amazon. And I've just seen it on uh, on the UK Amazon yesterday. So so for for those of you who, who get your supplies from the UK Amazon it's there and I'm sure that you can find it on the US Amazon as well. I actually bought it on, on the German Amazon. So uh, for my German German friends and everyone who, who gets stuff from, from the German side, it's, it should be there too. Uh, so yes, so my craft room looks like a disaster every time I'm, I am in a project and I only clean it when I'm done with, with the project. So it stays clean for, well, it depends, I guess. Let me check if some of these collage papers from my port prints, if they would match with those. Not really, not really. I'm actually tempted to use those instead of these scraps. I can still use them for something else because they are just just stunning and I will link them below as well <clears throat> so I clean my craft room whenever I finish a project and then you know I usually immediately start on the next project so my uh, my craft room gets uh, gets messy all over again but I mean that's that's just how it is. So what can you do, right? So what I'm going to do here first is I'm just going to add some bigger pieces of uh, of papers of different papers that we have been using um, that I have lying around here next to me and <clears throat> I'm just looking I've had I had a piece of uh, of ledger paper somewhere as well <clears throat> do I maybe want some of these wallpapers no I think I'll stick with uh, with this for the pop, pop of color mm. And I'm just looking in my scraps, uh, my scraps little uh, page protector. <laughs> oh, here it is. I wanted to find a, a piece of this ledger. Today's Christmas, uh, Christmas, why am I saying Christmas? Today's New Year's Eve, obviously not Christmas. And um, 
I would be curious to know, do you guys make any like New Year's resolutions or do you maybe review your year in, in your journal? Or do you choose the word of the year? Uh, do you do any any of <clears throat> of these things? How do you prepare to to the new year? If you know if you have any kind of any kind of routine or or something, I would be very interesting interested to to hear about it. I don't really do uh, New Year's resolutions, but I set goals for myself for you know different spheres sort of of life. So for my business, my career, my um, my personal life, also my health and uh, my health. Okay, let me. I want to use more of these. <laughs> I love the scratchiness of this. <clears throat> maybe this one. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so yes, so I like to set goals rather than resolutions and kind of monitor how I'm doing on my goals throughout the year. Uh, and I'm just going to try to try to stay consistent this year, this, uh, this new year with um, reviewing my goals, with reviewing, you know, how I am doing with them. Uh, if I need to uh, get better with something, I'm also thinking maybe I want to uh, divide my goals kind of into into quarters, um, or maybe even, or maybe at least, I mean, um, half a year, because sometimes when you set those yearly go goals, it can be so. Um, Hmm. Intimidating, so intimidating, and I like to um, categorize or like set a few categories, choose a few categories uh, for my goals because this way it just uh, it it makes it makes it kind of easier to think of your goals. You know, if I am thinking of my goals for twenty twenty one in general then that's that's too much for me you know that's that's just too much for me and if i just think of um of my of what i want to achieve with my health for instance with my um, personal life with my where i want to be with my business by the end of this year then it it makes it so so much easy easier and so much more approachable i would say so that's how i am that's how i'm doing it and i would love to know if you guys set goals or new rest new year's re resolutions also i would love to know if you guys choose a word of the year because i've done it for the first time last year and this word of the year concept is that you choose kind of a theme maybe for the year something that you want to maybe go by a little bit something uh, let me just take grab my book i think i want to, to take a little bit of this french french book <clears throat> um, so yes yeah, so it's like setting a theme for your year just setting some some main like main yeah theme i think theme is just the best year uh, just the best word i can i can come up with here um so yes, I did it for the first time this year and I actually really liked it. I, I really liked it. So my my word of the year 2020 was flourish. 
And you know, ironically, given the whole situation, uh, I did flourish. I did flourish in, in many uh, aspects of, of life and so many things have changed for better. Or, I don't like to say this, they didn't change, things didn't change. I, I like to say, you know, that I changed them because it's important. Uh, so I changed so many things for better and I am I'm happy with where I am and I of course I'm going to uh, to to set some goals I still have a lot of things that, that I want to achieve for my dream life <laughs> but uh, but um, I realized so so yes yeah, so I did flourish I, I believe in my opinion as much as I could given the, the circumstances so that was nice but I did realize um, the truth of the saying you have to nourish to flourish you know I I kind of realized that me not taking a proper care of my health of my downtime of my um, nutrition it's it it takes toll on me it takes a toll and it stops the flourishing process like I can't do more you know so sometimes it, it happens actually quite often to me that in my head I'm like yeah I want to do this I want to do that I have so many ideas and then when it comes to actually doing anything, I am so tired, I'm so exhausted that I I can't do anything and then I feel guilty, I blame myself, I don't like to do nothing, I don't like to rest and so it's a kind of a vicious circle because the less I rest, the less I take care of my body, of my health, of my mind, uh, the more tired I am of course and the less I can I can do and I can accomplish so yes a vicious circle and do I have a piece yes so yes so this this year has definitely helped me <clears throat> realize that you truly have to nourish to flourish and so my year of the my word of the year 2021 is going to be nourish and I really intend to focus on it a lot so I have so many you know ideas for my business I have so many things that I want to do personally but this nourish idea uh, is going to be kind of in my head all the time you know it's it has to be there it has to be behind everything or most of the things that I'm doing because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do it in the long run so it's been a hard lesson to learn for me but I'm grateful for it <laughs> okay I think I'm going to pick some of these embossed paper uh, papers and maybe add some of them I just I uh, used some some scraps of paper, white paper that I had laying around with my embossing machine and I have some of them here so I, I think maybe I'll just turn around and um, ink them ink them up a little bit to remove this stark whiteness <laughs> and, uh, and we will see it will just add a nice, maybe interest, a nice texture. So, so far we are just collaging the background. Um, there's my blending tool. Oh. Well, now when I start to look for every single thing that's become that becomes a problem with the messy space so today or 
Oh, maybe tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to clean my whole room. I like this idea. This is like a catharsis, you know, this is so cleansing in a way. So this for me, cleaning my, my, my crafting space, it's like saying this project is over and I had so much fun doing it. I enjoyed every minute of it, but now I'm ready to move on to the next one. So... So yes, yeah, so I am going to clean my room, and uh, and I'm going to start on something new with you guys. So I haven't decided yet what to. Maybe I'll just sink around here as well. But like I said yesterday, maybe I'll just take you along with me while I'm making those four journals of mine. Those are the ones with all the torn pages. So all the pages in four journals uh, I have hand torn and inked around. Uh, so this, this is really an interesting look and I haven't put my signatures together yet. Uh, so I kind of haven't seen it uh, in action uh, yet, but I think it's just going to, to be so cute, so interesting. I wanted to, to do it for, for a long time. I love the look when, when sometimes, uh, you know, people share journals like this. And uh, yeah, of course I had to choose, you know, a project where I make four journals uh, at the same time. But that's, I like to make things more difficult for myself, it, it would seem. Maybe here, maybe this one here. Mm -hmm. Like that. <clears throat> okay. Right, now I am thinking uh, maybe, do I have any more of these? Uh, my Poch prints papers, let me see. Uh, I have this. Maybe I could just go ahead and add some more scraps of these papers because they are so cute, like this text here, something like this. So I could just add some. So we've added our big pieces first. This is how I like, like to do my collaging. And then I like to go back and add some smaller pieces uh, to make it interesting, you know, because we will have different sizes, different types of papers. I mean, this one is going to probably be <laughs> big still, but I like this text. So can I can I put it somewhere, or maybe I do want to maybe make it s smaller. Mm -hmm, I like it. Maybe here. Yeah, why not? <coughs> I love this flower, so I want a piece of this on my collage too. And again, I'm going to just take a small piece to keep it interesting. Maybe here, I love it. Cool. Maybe something here I'm thinking. So let me see those papers. Maybe this one. Yes, I think I would like this one in the corner. This distressed flower. These papers are just so gorgeous. And I'm using a few kits from in this project from um, my porch prints. But if you go to her websy, uh, websy, yeah, to her Etsy website or to her website, you know, in short. Uh, you and, and you just search for wildflowers 
you will find all of the kits that she has on wildflowers. I have all of them and I love all of them. <laughs> She's just recently come up with this new one that we used mainly for our ephemera folio. And it's so lovely. Okay. I like it. Let me check my scraps here. Do I have wood vellum look nice? I think so. You know what guys, let's take a piece of vellum or tracing paper and let's add some of this here and there because it's transparent. So we won't be covering up too much of our design. So I'm gonna have some here I can just tear it off like this so maybe maybe two or or three pieces and these I am going to ink around because I just want them to be more visible and by the way guys this tearing ruler works so much better on a flat surface it's just I don't have much flat surface around me anymore so that's why I'm using it here on my collage sheet needs a bit more glue. I love how this is turning out. I love just sitting down and um, gluing, tearing papers and gluing them down <laughs> to, to, my, to my page, you know. It's so relaxing. I know uh, some of you guys, you have told me that you're a bit intimidated by collaging, but how about you just tear a few pieces of papers like I have here, you know, vintage book page, or if you don't have, Lorna has you covered for vintage papers. So some some writing maybe, maybe some ledger, maybe some beautiful digital kit that you like, or if not a digital, then maybe some beautiful scrapbooking papers or some beautiful book pages. Um, and, you know, just tear a few pieces, different sizes, different lengths, different heights and try to put them together in a seemingly random uh, collage, you know, in a seemingly random collage. Now, I haven't thought this through, this vellum thing, uh, because now I'm wondering what should I glue them, uh, those pieces with, and I am not sure my glue stick is going to work on them, but I'm going to give it a try because this glue stick is quite, quite a nice nice one um, so maybe here <clears throat> and i love how this just mutes you know a piece of uh, of this here but you can still see through <clears throat> this is a very gluey book page <laughs> okay <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe here. And one, one more. Oops, too much glue, too much glue. Where's my, where's my big book that I used to glue things on? Oh, here it is. I'll just take a page. <clears throat> Make sure the borders, the <clears throat> the edges are are covered with glue. I wouldn't like my edges curling up. Like I can see, it's already happening on one of these pieces. And that's okay. I can go back and just fix it. Maybe I didn't put enough glue on this corner here and here. Okay. I'm loving this. This would make such a beautiful um, journal cover as well, wouldn't it? I just think it would be so interesting. Okay, next thing I think I want to add before we cut is some Tracy labels, <laughs> of course. And let me see if I have maybe some of her text. 
labels. Oh, I definitely need to print those. So I'm just going to add them in random places and then I am going to randomly cut um, around. Uh, not cut around. I'm going to randomly cut my ephemera from these. And we will see what we end up with. We may end up, of course, with just a part of a label, so we won't see the whole text, but I feel it's just very interesting. We could add maybe this one here. And maybe some smaller ones here and there <clears throat> sorry i'm clearing my my throat again all the time aren't i just um i just feel it's so dry today again mm -hmm. okay maybe we will add more labels maybe some of these uh, tiny ones that I have printed and that you've seen in in some other um, in some previous episodes but we will do it on separate um, journaling cards that we cut from, from this big piece and here I'm using my wet glue because uh, I've printed those on a quite a thick cardstock most of them at least so I feel they will just stick better with um, and, and faster maybe with a wet glue instead of um, glue stick. And also because it's cardstock, my wet glue is not going to sip through these papers like it would through some of the vintage papers. And I mean vintage book page paper <laughs> that I used and also and also uh, the printables because I printed them on copy paper, just a thin regular copy paper. Okay, let me take a sip of tea here. <coughs> okay, I'm drinking white tea with pear and what's it called in English? Hmm, it's a figa in Pol in Polish, so it's a fig maybe in, in English. I have no idea. My uh, food vocabulary is quite limited because I rarely talk about food in English with anyone. <laughs> Hmm. Well, the, the people, the, the neighbors from, from the apartment uh, above ours are singing and listening to very, very loud music again. I just hope it doesn't bother you guys. It's, there's not much I can do and unfortunately in my room you can, see, you can hear it kind of the loudest. These are Christmas carols, if I hear correctly. They do li like to sing and listen to loud music there. Mm -hmm. And the last one, and I think maybe... <clears throat> maybe we can actually cut already. Or maybe... I would add some splashes first. How about that? How about, I really like how this is looking. Uh, it's, it's going to be almost sad, you know, to cut it up. But I'm going to use my gold mist from 13 Arts and maybe add some, some splashes. And I'm going to back my journaling cards on something, probably coffee stained papers, uh, paper, something like this. So, uh, so I'm not too worried about the background, uh, how it looks, that it's crumple, crum, crumpled. Mm. 
love it, love it, love it. Crazy splattering. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like this. We can always add more if we feel like it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take just a short break and let it dry and we will start cutting our journaling cards. So I think <clears throat> I want my uh, journaling cards to be three by four inches and four by six inches. So I'm just going to turn it around like this and I'm just going to cut um, rectangles, you know, three by fours and uh, four by six. And I'm, I'm just thinking because I only have these two edges that are straight. So let me start here. So maybe let's start with a four by six. Mm -hmm. And if I have some kind of random shapes left like this, I'm still going to keep it and use it. Okay, so now my straight edge is here, let's say, or here still. Uh, or I think I can use this. So let me, I'm just going to clean this edge, it's so wonky. So this piece I'm going to get rid of without looking what I'm getting rid of, you know. Now three inches. This is exciting because you kind of never know what you end up with. So we have this one and we can have one more out of this. So two three by fours. I can have maybe one more four by six. So like this. And this. And this one will be a small one. So I'll just cut it here. And then this. <clears throat> Do I want it? Or maybe I will just cut it somewhere here. Sort of in the middle, but not really. Okay, guys, let's see how our journaling cards are looking. Wow, this is so nice. And we have just a piece of the vellum and of the label and just a piece of this text. Let's see this one now. Wow, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I love it. <laughs> Okay, oh, this is so fun with the, just the bottom of the, of the card. Oh, this one is pretty. This one is very pretty. Then we have, wow, I love this one. I love this one. Now this is very pretty. Oops, this way probably. <clears throat> this one is very pretty. Needs to, a bit more glue, but with the flower and just a little piece of the label. This is our big one, and mm, I think I need to I need to straighten something here, or maybe not. Maybe not. We will see. But it's nice. I think this um, side is shorter than this, so I will see to that. Yeah, definitely. And same here. And this is the this one. So I love them. I love all of them. And I'm just going to take my trimmer once again and see which edge needs to be fixed. This one maybe. Yes. And here I think this one. How is this? Pretty much straight. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay. So let's maybe decorate some of them a little bit more. <laughs> Why not? Mm -hmm. I could use this one and make it like a uh, vertical instead of horizontal. I honestly don't think this one needs anything else. Maybe I will just stitch around and, um, you know, add uh, coffee stain paper. This one I would like to add a little flower to. Uh, same as this one, I could actually use it like this. 
And this one is just so pretty. Again, I don't think I'm going to add anything uh, more to this one. Uh, then we have this and we could... Let's let's keep those here and this <clears throat> as well. Why not? So Here are my fussy cut flowers. You guys know this box if you've been with me for a while Let's see what we can make here I think I would like to add a few flowers to this one Because this is a big card I love it. I already love it. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I don't think so, actually. What do you think, guys? I really do believe this is uh, pretty as it is. So, these are going to be rather quick, you know. You quickly slap some paper, glue some paper to your surface. Um, cut it out without thinking too much because you're not looking at the design and then you just add some flowers or birds or butterflies whatever you like to add you know to your to your journaling cards to make them pretty not that they are not pretty those papers alone make those cards so gorgeous <laughs> mm -hmm. And then this one. I forgot, I mentioned it to you guys, but I totally forgot I was, I wanted to find some of those glue bottles because I miss my precise nozzle of my, of my glue, glue bottle. This one is not so precise, so I usually add too much glue. Okay, so let's put this one aside and we will see what we want to do with it later. This one. Yeah, it's perfect because there are some of the same greens and some of the same purples as uh, on this flower as there are on the uh, paper that we used for the collage. those um, glue bottles that I've seen um, that I've seen some crafters use they are called fine liner bottles and they really do have this beautiful fine nozzle and I love them but I've checked on Amazon well I've checked on German Amazon because uh, it's kind of closest to me okay for now I'm putting this one aside so yes, yeah, so I checked on uh, on Amazon. I love this one. How about I just kind of pop it maybe here? Wow, yes. But I want to ink it. It's too <clears throat> too white. <laughs> uh, but it was crazy expensive for I think it was a set of two bottles or maybe even one. I don't know, but it was very expensive. Uh, but I think I've also seen some in some local uh, craft stores in Poland, so I'll have to, I'll have to look at those that I buy from online, of course, uh, and maybe I'll find something. So I like they change the packaging. I mean the tube of my bottle of my glue, and it's better because it's not going to break because they changed the material, but it's now kind of harder to. To use it so I guess you really can't have everything can you still I love this glue <laughs> I love this glue okay Ooh, maybe this cutie yeah <clears throat> well I'm very lucky today I just the first flower I grab seems to match perfectly and sometimes you know that I keep changing my mind and I keep trying maybe this one maybe that one and nothing works but here today everything seems to work mm -hmm. I really like it okay uh, what uh, what's next this one 
this one, this one. That's too big. That's a beautiful flower and a gorgeous color. Definitely too big for uh, for this card. I wouldn't like to cover this part of the paper. So I'm just going to look <clears throat> maybe this plant. Maybe this one actually. <clears throat> it's an interesting shape. And again, I'm going to um, ink around it just to get rid of the stark white, uh, you know, against the, the rather vintagey background. Mm -hmm. I can glue it and we will see what else can we do about those. Maybe add some fabric, maybe some toppers, maybe some charms. I think we still have time. I really am planning to try to keep those videos like under an hour or maybe up to an hour long but like I said to you yesterday I really don't know if this is going to work because I can't kind of wrap my head around the fact oh I have one more why am I cleaning this all maybe this one actually yep so I can't wrap my head around the fact that I would have to stop in the middle of what I'm doing, stop recording, stop and then resume kind of the next whatever, you know, the next day, the next morning. I, I don't know, but, but I'll try. I know that I, of course, I know that an hour and a half no not everyone has that kind of time and i really want you guys to enjoy watching and to be able to watch <laughs> so so i'm going to try to control the time better <clears throat> excuse me you just uh just please give me some time to to adjust to to try it out to to learn how to do it you know because I am I'm not yet I don't know yet how to how to do these everyday videos I am enjoying it so much I feel like it's already a part of my daily routine and a part that I look forward to so um, so I'm really enjoying it and so many of you guys have said to me in the comments that uh, you would love to have more videos that you would love to have those daily videos uh, for five days of of the week which was so amazing and I just I was smiling at every comment really because it means a lot so I want to do them, I want to learn how to do them the best I can, you know. And also uh, there were some, some of you who so kindly said that I shouldn't worry if I can't do it every day uh, sometimes because that's just life, you know, and thank you so much for, for saying that, thank you so much for for acknowledging that yeah that maybe some days i say some day some days i won't be able to to make a video you know like every day but yeah thank you for thank you for understanding that's i think that's what i'm trying to to say and to express here thank you for understanding okay so now I think I want to now back them. I love I love them so much, um, but I don't think we are done with them yet. <laughs> so I think I want to now back them on uh, tea stain paper. So I'm just going to glue them stair stair like glue them right on uh, tea stained or coffee stained paper and then I'm going to cut them out and sew around them like this and I will be back to you guys and we will see what else we can add to maybe like Wendy says rouge them up I love it I love this expression to to make them even more you know interesting although I do have to admit that I love them <laughs> okay I'll be back in a sec Alrighty, so I used a few different stitches to make it interesting. So for the smaller ones, I just used a straight stitch. 
Um, I used this fun, like it looks like a branch stitch here and the straight all around. I used this one. It looks, I don't know, it, it looks a little bit arabesque to me. I really love this one, one of my favorites. Then I used a very small zigzag on this one and a larger zigzag on this one. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to go ahead and punch holes through, uh, punch, yes, punch holes <laughs> through all of those. If I can only locate my, um, what am I even looking for? My crocodile. So I want to add some something to those. So wherever I have space, I'm going to punch holes. So it doesn't have to be in the middle because I would be punching through the flower. I'm just going to go here in the corner. Uh, then for this one, again, maybe in the corner, maybe this corner for a change. For this one, maybe here. And this one goes like how, how does this one goes <laughs> how does this one go is what i'm trying to ask where do i want my hole maybe through here actually then this one can go kind of in the middle this one is horizontal so i will add a hole on this side maybe in the middle I love, I love this one. <laughs> and uh, here, oops, it's like this. Oh, so, so nice. Any kind of uh, direction you hold it, it's it's pretty. So, <laughs> so you know. Now I am going to add eyelets, just because I like them. Just because they are metal and I, they add something they add a another material to our um, otherwise you know papery project but oops i have two but you don't have to you don't have to add them you can you can just thread something through them so like this uh, maybe a flowery one on this one because this one is rather where it's less busy <laughs> than the other ones. So this one here. And a flowery eyelet on this one too. And these flowery eyelets I just got on AliExpress. So if you search for flower eyelets, flower metal eyelets, something like that, you will find them because I've just recently found them again and put them in my card because I'm running slowly but surely, you know, running out of them. So I'm just kind of alternating here between those eyelets. Wherever I feel this flower one will work well, I'm just going to add it. Uh -huh. Here, maybe here because we have this very delicate flower, so it's not going to be too much. Mm -hmm. They are quite hard to close though, so even the crocodile, you know, I have to use a little bit more strength than with usual eyelids. Then I'm going to take this, this simple one here and the flowery, yeah, the flowery one for this one. So, what can we do? <laughs> To make those interesting, I'm going to just take a few of uh, my bob pins. I may want to use them. And let's see. Um, let's see if maybe I have some nice flower charms that I could, I could use here. Uh, and I'm going to go for flowers because, or maybe leaves, because of course this is flowery theme, botanical theme. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Can I use this one anywhere? Maybe like here? Yeah, look at this, guys. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> mm, what else? I have also this one, which is so pretty, but it's quite big, so I wouldn't want to... Maybe here? Yeah. I wouldn't want to take away, you know, from our focal point. Maybe just one more 
oh yeah i love this tiny one wherever uh it will go it will go <laughs> it will match anything then i could uh i have my beads here but maybe i want to add some some kind of fabrics first so let me see what what i have i have my sari silks uh, I have my sari silks here, I have my um, eyelash trims as well, I have some of this sari silk, I also have some of this color, this may work nice, and oh, I also have some of this color, let's see if this one will work somewhere here. Let's see, because we have a quite a few, uh, yeah, I think so, definitely, <laughs> definitely here, I love it, okay, let me take, let me take a large, or long rather, piece, and, and I'll try to make a bow, I'm not the best at making bows, <laughs> but... But I think I would like one. This is a rather simple tag, so I think we can get away with making a bow. And it won't, I just need them to be kind of the same length. Yes, and it won't be like too much, you know, it won't be o overwhelming. And I want it to go here on the side because I wanted the right side up. Mm -hmm. so cute i really like it can i use the same one for anything else this one i think yes this one so and maybe would this match or this maybe this let's try to use some of this blue uh, and some of this eyelash trim. I'm not sure if I can make an, if I can make a bow with it. But even if not, I'll just make a uh, like a tag topper thing, you know. Even though I'm I'm calling those journaling cards and not tags, I just like to add um, different textures to my project projects. So this will give me some a nice feel with the fabrics and different different types of fabrics okay maybe I should have made it a bit longer to make those bows but maybe not let's see mm -hmm. or maybe maybe I'll just leave it like this I kind I quite like it you know this long and yeah I think I'll leave it like that okay what's next I'm going to add the charms just just a little bit later. This one goes beautifully with this tag. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to thread it through the hole. No, no bow this time. Thread it through the hole. Like that. And through the loop here mm -hmm. nice <laughs> so sweet uh, what else what else this one definitely works here as well and I want a nice bow on this one because it's in the middle here so let's see if I can or maybe with yeah I like the the idea of using the eyelash trim and now I don't know where the end is. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it is here. So this might be maybe too uh, short like like the other one. So I'll use it for for another tag and I'm just going to take cut the place where they are stitched together and take a longer piece just to make sure 
that it's not too short to make a nice bow. So of course if you don't want to add anything to your cards uh, you would just uh, probably end the project you know just by cutting your collage sheet uh, with uh, with your paper trimmer or just adding maybe oh that's so nice I love it so kind of I don't know shabby <laughs> I love it um, yeah, so you just cut maybe your uh, your paper uh, into journaling cards. Maybe add some, you know, focal points. Or even if not, these were I believe they were ready the moment I cut them. And I just want to, you know, zhuzh them up, just like I said, <laughs> like Wendy says. I'll cut it a bit shorter here okay I really like it now um, for these maybe I'll just take the eyelash trim because it's more delicate mm -hmm. and I'll try to make a bow out of this for this one I love these eyelash trim. They are so soft to touch. <laughs> this is the first time I'm using eyelash trim. I haven't had it before. Okay. I like I like how fluffy it looks and I'm going to add some charm. Some charms to it, so it's going to be nice. Now, how about two colors of the eyelash trim? For this one and again where's my end here's the end of this one and here's here's the one for this so so nice and fluffy so maybe i will just go like this this time it's probably a bit too long but it's so sweet I love it so long so if the recipient of those uh, doesn't like them this long she can absolutely trim them make them shorter but I personally honestly love them okay maybe a shorter one for this and I'm going to just thread it And is that it? Yes, it's that's it. So this I can put aside. And we can add some interest to some of those. Oh, so many threads from, from this eyelash trim. That's the downside of using it. But it's worth it. <laughs> so I have my beads here and I wanted charms definitely on this one mm, so I think I'm going to go first with the charm it's going to be clipped like this I think so first the charm and maybe some small beads let me see I have some pearly like pearly like beads one here mm -hmm. and this is going to go here like this and I'm going to close it here and here is our card I love it guys I love it <laughs> okay what else I had one more charm uh, one more bigger charm where is it where is the I think it was supposed to go on this and yes it was the leaves so because we have such uh, long uh, threads or such long beautiful 
trims here I'm just going to add this yep uh, like that beautiful <laughs> it's so nice to touch <laughs> okay now for for which one to with which one could I use maybe with this and for this one I would use a bead first maybe then this chart maybe it's too big can I find something smaller I have a small one too unless the hole is no it's fine yes and then maybe another bead can I find something pink I think so okay so just a couple of beads and a charm this one and I get most of my beads and most of my charms again from AliExpress this is a great resource for those like generic uh, supplies you know this is so nice okay guys and do I want to add anything to any of those maybe some something to this one uh, just say like a few beads maybe uh, let me see let me see here do I have something here I have this gold one no mm, not really so I'm going to stick with this box so a small one maybe just a couple of pearls a small one and or, I mean they are four pearls of course uh, a small one and a bigger one this one doesn't have a hole in it <laughs> okay yes very very pretty I'm just going through the uh, sari silk here, closing, closing it, and look at this, guys. Look, look at that. Look how cute. Okay, and I think that's it. So let me put this aside. Excuse me. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't open. Let me put this aside and let me show you all of them up close. And I think maybe tomorrow I will have the flip through of the completed project and also the, the completed ephemera folio and also the journal that I made for the customer who is going to receive the folio. So there is this one, this one, I think this one is my favorite. It's so cute. I love it. Then we have this one with those gorgeous, gorgeous trims. This one with a beautiful rose and some fluffiness here. And this one with just some beads and a charm. So cute. This pretty little one. All of them are backed with tea stained paper. We have this one. <laughs> it goes this way, but it could go this way as well, I guess. But the color of the sorry silk, wow. And this one with the long uh threads and and the couple of faux pearls so guys thank you so much for crafting with me thank you for doing this project with me um for your beautiful comments and uh it's not the end of the trash to treasure series definitely not my box is ever growing my box of trash and junk is ever growing so it's not the end uh, it's just the end of the folio and yeah i will i will speak to you tomorrow and guys um have a calm and pleasant and uh happy um new year's eve and we will speak tomorrow when it's already 2021 hard to believe but yes uh <laughs> thank you for being me with me today and um speak to you soon bye